If you've been trying to grow your email list with MailChimp's pop-up form builder, you may have noticed it's quite basic and doesn't have the best conversion results. That's why smart business owners and marketers use Optin Monster to create high converting MailChimp pop-ups and Optin forms without writing any code. With Optin Monster, you can create pop-ups, floating bars, slide-ins, gamified spin wheels and more. Let me show you how you can create a MailChimp pop-up step-by-step without any code. Let's get started. Your first step is to sign up for an Optin Monster account. All you have to do is go to optinmonster.com and click on the green Get Optin Monster Now button. And for as low as $9 a month, you can have access to all the campaign types. Step number two is to create your pop-up using Optin Monster. Now that you have an Optin Monster account, you can click the green Create New Campaign button and we'll choose Pop-up. Here you have hundreds of templates to choose from, but for this, we're going to start with the Entice template. So just click on Use Template. Then you'll need to name your campaign and we can choose which website we'd like it to load on and we'll start building. To keep your pop-up on brand, go to Custom Colors. Here you can import a color profile. This will make it super easy to change your font, background, and additional colors on your pop-up and keep it consistent with your website design. Next, you'll click on the image, and here you can click on the image to replace it or select it from your computer. The more visually impactful, the better. Next, to edit any part of the pop-up, you just have to click on the section you'd like to edit, and the editor will come up on the left-hand side of the screen. You have a complete text editor where you can change the font, font size, colors, alignment, and more. You can even include a link if you need. Since we imported our custom colors, changing the font color is super quick and easy. Then all you have to do is change your message. And remember to highlight the benefits of joining if you're creating an email newsletter sign up form. So for this example, we wrote, join for our best plant tips. You deserve to have an amazing garden you can be proud of. Don't monkey around, join today for free. You have complete control over the text editing for the subtext as well, and in this case, we'll change the font. We're going to change the font color as well using our custom colors. Next, we're going to scroll down to our form fields. And again, when you click on that, that brings up all the form field options on the left. You can choose to add different available fields such as name, phone, and privacy statement. And once you've added your desired form fields, you can change the order by dragging and placing the field where you'd like it to show on your pop-up. To edit each individual field, all you have to do is click on it and then the editor will show up. You can edit the privacy statement. With the privacy field, you can also add a GPR statement and make sure to include a privacy checkbox. Next, we're going to edit the submit button. You can click on that and that will bring up the style editor for the button. You can change the button text. Make sure to include an appealing call to action such as join for free. You have complete design control over the button and can change the width, the background color, font size, font weight, and more. You can also change the hover styling. If you don't want a hover effect, you can select copy regular styles. You might want to consider increasing the font size of the button text to really make it stand out on your pop-up. And if we do that for the hover style, just remember you'll need to make equal changes in the regular styles. So just go to the regular tab and you can make those changes there as well. Finally, you'll need to decide the action by going to the action tab for when there is a successful submission. So you can redirect to a URL if you maybe have a success landing page that you'd like to send your new subscribers to. You can also have them go to the success view. All you have to do is scroll down and go to go to a view and select the success view. Next, in the success tab, you can import the layout from the opt-in view to have a head start on your success design. Then all you have to do is change the messaging, make some tweaks to your success design, and you're ready to go. At this point, you can double check that your design is exactly how you'd like it to look. And next we'll go to the display rules tab so we can decide when and where on our website our pop-up will show to grow our MailChimp list. Some popular triggers include time on page, exit intent, new visitor, 
on click with a monster link, page targeting, the physical location of our website visitor, returning visitor, and referral targeting. You can also combine display rules with and or or rules and really make it a specific pop-up to exactly the person that you want to show your campaign to. Next, simply click next step. On default, your opt-in view will show. In the summary, you can make sure that your display rules are correct. Next, in the integrations tab, click add new integration and scroll down to MailChimp. You can also type it in. Select MailChimp and in the dropdown, select add new account. Next, we'll need to go to the MailChimp dashboard to grab the API key. So in your dashboard, scroll down to account. Here in extras, scroll down to API keys and you'll need to create a key. Copy your API key and head back to the Optin Monster app. Paste in your MailChimp API key, type in the MailChimp account label for this account and click the green connect to MailChimp button. This will successfully connect to the MailChimp account you just set up. It's a good idea to make sure that double opt-ins are activated and you can also add any list tags. Next, we'll save, and then we're gonna go to the analytics tab. By default, you'll have access to Optin Monster's native analytics, which are excellent, but you can also connect to Google Analytics. Next in the publish tab, we'll toggle from pause to live, save our campaign, and when you go to the preview campaign button, you'll be able to see exactly how your pop-up will look on your homepage to grow your MailChimp email list faster and more effective than ever before. Don't let your pop-ups scare away potential subscribers. Get started with Optin Monster today for high converting email list signup forms. Check out our video on how to make a creative pop-up to increase your conversions even more. And to find out more about what Optin Monster can do for you, check out our demo. And don't forget to subscribe for more Optin Monster videos, the channel dedicated to getting you more conversions, email subscribers, and sales.